Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mayframe Tutorials. This is the practical session tutorial. So, so far I have been theoretically explaining of the different modules like COBOL, JCL, CICS, DB2 and VXAM. So, in continuation to those videos, I thought of sharing some practical things. So, in this video, I would like to share about how do we create a data sets and its importance. So, let's talk something about theoretically about this data set and uh, then we will go and connect to the terminal and we will create the data set. So, let us understand what is PES. It stands for physical sequential data set that is used to store a data in the form of records and uh, rules while creating a data set is it should have maximum length of data sets uh, 44 bytes in length and each group of data sets can have maximum of 8 bytes that is represented by uh, that is separated by dot so you can also use national characters like at rate, hash, dollar and person symbol. So the condition here is it, sh it should not start with this character. For example, so this is your da uh, data set. So this uh, this is my data set I have created. So kuma vk dot test dot master dot data. So here you can see like if you want to combine this master data, you cannot do this. Why? Because it should not exit more than 8 bytes so that's the reason I can keep it as a separate byte dot okay it should have mag it can have maximum byte or length uh, to be 44 if it is ex more than 44 your job or JSTL gets upended while creating a data set be careful be careful on these these three points okay so let's go back to computer basics I um, mean let's uh, just have a brief uh, about brush up the uh, what is bits and bytes so 8 bits equals to 1 byte 1024 bytes equal to 1 KB and 1024 KB equal to 1 MB and 1024 MB equal to 1 GB so why I'm saying this uh, the in mainframe there will be different the data storage here we call it as tracks and cylinders so one track is equal to 5664 bytes and one cylinder equal to 15 tracks which is equal to 849960 bytes per cylinder so the storage is depends on the DASD you are using so it here are the different versions and different models and the uh, where the the storage is different uh, to be different so uh, since I'm using three double three nine zero so this will be the storage uh, let's come into the record formats uh, that we can use uh, for uh, for creating a data set so we can have multiple record formats like U F B V B F V F B A V B and V B A and V B M and so on there are all the set of different formats. So uh, U stands for undefined. FB means fixed block. For example, if your record length is 80, block size of 800, it creates a one block of total 80 bytes in length in the provided space. VB stands for a variable block. The record length is fixed, but block length is not fixed. F stands for a fixed length. We also need to understand what mean by primary and secondary before we go to uh, before we go and create this data sets so primary it is the amount of required space of your data sets if the uh, primary space is filled so it is replaced with the secondary quantity so now we will connect to the mainframe terminal and create a data set speak we can create in two modes that is uh, utility mode and jcl mode first we'll create in utility mode then we'll go and create in jcl mode okay let's go and connect to the, the mainframe terminal so once you're connected to the terminal so this will be your first screen which appears so this is called this screen is called ISPS primary option menu and you can see a different options like settings views edit utilities foreground branch command and the different options if you have any IBM products uh, it should your all IBM products will be installed over here this is the user ID it's, it will be your, your user ID and the time and the terminal connected and then VS connect and the uh, ISPF option you are using so let's see since this video is about creating a data sets let's focus on this so we'll go to the third utilities enter so then we need to create a data set select option 2 so you can have various options library move copy data set list out list search search in so select 2 I want to create this data set so allocate you have a uh, different options called catalog, rename, delete, and user utilities. So this would be uh, this is the place you need to create your data set name. I'm naming it as a test dot master dot data dot physical sequential file one. So test 
here it should be test master data and physical sequential file okay then press enter so this should be kept default and uh, I'm taking test tracks the primary 5 and the secondary to be 2 uh, directory blocks not needed if it is uh, the sequential data set 0 and fixed block record length of 80 and the block size is of 800 so now it's to be blank just enter that's it you can see like your data set has been created let us check it by going to 3.4 option uh, 3 is called utilities okay 4 is to see a list you can see D DS list print or display to process list of data set names just go to 4 then you can see here right I'm going to paste this okay just enter that's it your data set has been created just you give an S to see the description of whatever the data set you have created you can see the management class it is assigned by by default but we gave a blank but it is as point assign default you can see your dash t that is double three nine zero user and uh, the none uh, we have created is the physical sequential file and we gave format as fb eight hundred our primary and our secondary and there you can see the creation date which is very important so let's edit this data set and write something so this is your data once you open this data sets so you can see you can type anything here hello welcome welcome to mainframe practicals that's it enter it that you gave it as type it as save so your data will be saved so you after creating this data set you can view it in view mode edit mode or browse mode so if you want to view it in browse mode just type pre it will be in browse mode if you want to open it in view mode you can open it in view mode okay so this is how we create a data set using uh, utility mode so uh, what was our next one it is used to create the jcl i mean we will create using jcl mode so now I will go to my JCL library okay so here I have a member so this is my JCL card where it go you will have your own job card over here and what is the step one uh, step one uh, IE FBR, F FBR 14 is the IBM utility which is used to create a data set so in this JCL I am going to give my data set name test dot say sales dot data and uh, this equal to I hope you all know this uh, this equal to new catalog delete and the space uh, DCB parameter if you are you will be giving the peers fixed block 80 length and block size is 800 that's it let's go and submit job is submitted so you can see a message called job has been submitted and it gives the job number when you go to spool you can see the status that's it if you are getting max is equal to zero that means that your job is successfully completed so if you want to see if your data set is successfully created so just copy your data set copy go to start 3.4 let's see the three four is for display just enter okay you can see that your data set is created so what are the options we gave fb 80 800 and the date created and I gave uh, tracks as one and one okay in the same way you can uh, give a description here so it's ps data set is to store sales data just I gave some description say this that's it you have uh, now you can create your own data sets using utility mode or either uh, JCL batch mode so if you want to see uh, the spool if you want to go to spool and see the data set how it is created and uh, just go to SDSF 
and you have st status of job it stands for status of job okay my job was as kumar vs star okay now you can see see the message so you can see the step one has been ended with return code zero zero it means that job has successfully executed then you can see the different messages j's are located and everything okay that's it go to pack start so this is how you create uh, you create your uh, data sets using batch mode or a jcl mode thank you so much for watching this video i'll be coming up with more and more videos on this and if you feel if you feel this is important and if you if you have gained anything out of this video kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel on my youtube or share comment on this thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day